Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and it is time for our continuation fan request, Milo Sarchev versus Brian Buchanan. And of course, this is a continuation, I switch somebody's body parts. Maybe they're usually their arms. I think it began with Chris Bumstead. I gave him Peter Molnar's arms. The first person that guessed that got the request played. And I'm going to be doing it again some point in this matchup. What a battle this would have been, guys. This is uh, structure versus really structure with a better condition. Maybe not as good as a structure. Now, Brian Buchanan, look at the waistline. Look at the upper body. Missing some calves, yes, but still, it is truly a thing of beauty. Condition-wise, I would give it to Milos Sarchev for sure. For sure, no doubt. One of the more conditioned gentlemen, in particular from those front shots, those separated abs. Very impressive, very impressive. It was the arm department, I think, that would get uh, maybe a loss to Sarchev. I don't know, though. I don't know. Those abs. Now, if he did... Now, now keep your eyes peeled, guys. If he did have, boom, Superset Man, boom, Tominator, what is a barn door, boom, copyright laws. Um, if he if he did have these arms, then he probably would win hands down because these maybe are even a better set of guns. In particular, those triceps. Look at the triceps that Milo possesses now. Now, who belongs to these arms? This isn't quite so easy. This isn't your little Tinkerbell, run of the mill, you know, trivia question. Like, whose abs are these? Thierry, Thierry Pastel. You know, that was an easy one. If you can guess these, you will not only get your request played, but man, oh man, per first person that guesses this, they deserve respect for guessing whose arms these belong to. And remember, guys, very important, do not edit your answer. Don't edit it. Even if you misspell it, keep it, because I uh, might have to disqualify you if, you're, if you edit your answer. Go to the front line spread. Wow. Wow. Is this a matchup or a trivia question? You know, very close in that front double uh, bicep, though, to be honest. The conditioning and the, the wheel size, you can even see here. Now, sizing these guys, Milos, a little bit taller, or Milo, Milos, whatever you call him. He's a little bit taller, but he bends at the knees, and he leans way back, rendering them somewhat the same height. Wow, Brian. Now, if Brian was in just as good as condition, which obviously you can't really tell with these old pitchers, but I wager to say Sarchev would be the better conditioned man, and Brian is more filled out in the lats, maybe. <laughs> Go to the side chest. This is basically the only side chest shot that I could find of Brian B. up on stage. You guys are very similar in the pec development. Now, Brian is in good condition. Look at that muscle separation. Hands down, winning in the arm department. Look at the delts, for sure. Bicep, tricep separation. Very impressive, very impressive. But, to be honest, Brian might not have ever, uh, you know, had the most separation in the, in the abs, in the midsection. You can see Milo Sarchev, obviously, very cut up in that region. So it is a close one. Maybe the bigger set of pecs goes to Sarchev, of course. And if the, you could see the wheels, he'd be winning in that aspect as well. Let's have a look at the back. Now, Brian Buchanan had a good back development. More than a match for his front, I would say. Look at those delts. And he's actually, well, I don't, I don't want to say he's beating Sarchev. He's beating him in the back development. The upper back, arms, no doubt, for sure, for sure. You look at the lower back condition, the Christmas tree, the lumbar area of Sarchev. He would be in better condition, guys. Let's face it. And when you look at the wheels... And it, it, this is kind of unfair, too. Brian B., he holds his legs differently. They didn't display their hammies or their, their proper condition. Now, trust me, Brian Buchanan was in shape when it comes to that. But like I said, they just did not bow their quads out to display their, their hamstrings like they did in the 90s. But anyway, guys, this is a to be admired, like Louis Marco says, to be admired, this back development of Brian Buchanan. Very underrated. Go to the rear lat spread. This is a, a photo shoot for Brian Buchanan. But like I said, guys, look at the condition of those hamstrings. More than a match for Milo Sarchev, for sure. For sure. Very narrow is the waistline. 
of Milo, a little tiny badonka donk for him, or a, a baby donk. And they did not flex their donks back in the day. And you can see that, guys. There's no way that he didn't have strided glutes if he flexed them. With hamstrings like that, Brian Buchanan, very wide in the back development. Like I said, his back was a, a match for his front. What we had here was a perfect bodybuilder. But he didn't have the calves, and you can't really see that. And uh, Sarchev, pretty good in that aspect. Not a bad back. Good lower back, good Latin uh, insertions for uh, Sarchev. So he, he probably trained, you know, perfectly, but he just didn't have the genetics to have a great big uh, bark. Go to the abs and thigh. Wow, wow. Look at that waistline of Brian Buchanan. It goes down to a perfect V. Perfect V. Got some uh, separation in the, the feathering in the quads as well. Not too bad. Hmm? Hmm? Of course, Milos. He has an awesome set of quads. And those abs are nearly divorced. Look at that. Look at that. A divorced set of abs. Maybe uh, overthrows a, a smaller, better V taper. Maybe. Maybe. Just a very perfect and well-conditioned athlete is Milos. Sarchev. However... <laughs> I always get, you know, no matter how I say it, there's a there's a group of people that's going to, you know, you're saying it wrong. Well, it's Tuesday. And if you're going to make a mistake, it should be on a Tuesday. I don't know why. Most muscular. This one, a little bit difficult to size, I think, because of the angle of the shot. Was Milo Sarchev that much bigger than Brian B., than Brian Buchanan? There was a lot of shots that Brian was able to throw that size of that waistline in there and made his upper body appear to be pretty big but in this shot very exposing of the the clavicle width or lack thereof of brian buchanan definitely not known for a narrow clavicle but sarchev had a very i guess perfect upper body width good display i mean the guy had quads till tuesday good set of delts and here in i believe 1998 yeah that's got to be 98 he was crisp and conditioned to a T. In my opinion, finishes strong in this matchup. So here is your winner, Milo Sarchev. I think his conditioning was a little bit too advanced. And maybe more than, well, not more than that. But also, in addition to that, he had those massive quads. Which maybe, I guess, was an answer to Brian's tiny little wee waistline. Hey, bigger legs makes your waistline look... Small no matter what, right? Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. And remember, whoever gets that, whose arms those were, I switched. Wow, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. But I know you guys are smart and somebody will get it. And remember, do not edit it, guys. Do not edit it. Hard for me to monitor all the, the comments at once. So you might steal it and, you know, be the first person that commented could just edit it. And hit thumbs up, guys. Have a great day.